Yep, he's down there all right. Do you think he's dead? You'd better hope not. I mean, in this jurisdiction, even killing Sam is more than likely illegal. I didn't mean to do it, Brian. He just made me so far to suck and angry. I'm okay. I landed on Velden. See? He's fine. <sighs> Sorry, Sam. No, you're not. Ponch, you and Sam have been at each other's throats a lot lately. What's going on? I think Belden's legs are broken. I don't know, Brian. I like Sam. But when we worked in the old building, I really only saw him at the office. Now we all live in the castle together, and it's like we're never apart. We just get on each other's nerves. I'm not proud about losing my temper. And trying to kill him. See what I mean? That's not me. And Sam's usually such a happy guy. Recently, he's been kind of edgy and out of his sorts as well. Yeah, I can see him flipping you off from here. This is for you, Punch! Well, I can't have my two <laughs> friends carping at one another constantly, so I'm going to do something for you both. A vacation? A sabbatical? A tropical island horse? Almost. I'm going to give you and Sam an opportunity to work things out in a close quarters environment over a 73-hour period. How is that almost tropical island whores? Stand still. What? <coughs> ah! You darted me! I'm going to... Uh-oh. We're out of corn. That's one down. Sam, can you hear me? Yes. Stay where you are. Okay. But why? <coughs> Ow! There's a dart in my face! You go to sleep now. Okay, where did I put the blindfolds? Wake up, Sam. Uh, where am I? You're locked in a room with me. Are we in school? No, we're... what? Oh, um, I had this dream we were in school and late for an exam. Well, we're not in school, but I do think this is some kind of test. Trigonometry? Focus, Sam. Is it a chem final? I, I forgot to study. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Brian's tranquilizer darts always have this effect on you. No, we're in the castle, and Brian's locked us in a room to force us to work together. Why? Because we were fighting so much. What are we supposed to be working together on? That stuff. That's a pile of old junk. I know. Just like your face, jerkweed. I'm going to let that one go because you're under duress. Don't use words I can't understand. You think you're such a smart because you went to Bi-State University. Sam, you went to college too. Yeah, but that was just Harvard. I hear what you're saying, but... Wait, you went to Harvard? Uh-huh. But don't make fun of me. I couldn't get into Bi-State, and I really wanted to. I wanted so bad to be a Bi-State binturong. Do you know what the mascot of Harvard is? Yeah, the, the Crimson. See? I don't even know what that is. It's the... You know what? Never mind. Let's just see what... No, I have to know. What was your degree from Harvard? Uh, doctorate of Education. You're a teacher. Part-time. Of course. Okay, I want out of here. Brian! Hello, gentlemen. This is one of the most illegal things you've done, Brian. How so? You've got to be kidding. Assault? Kidnapping? False imprisonment? Brigandage? Don't help, Professor. Wait, brigandage? Partial. But good luck proving any of it. Now why don't you two stop worrying about my alleged crimes and start working on some kind of bonding project? And if we do, will you let us out? Mm, not sure if I can. What? Why? Look around. Do you see a door? Uh, nope. No doors. Cool. How did you do that? Okay, Brian. Where's the hidden passage or whatever? I uh, wish I knew, Ponchi. 
The truth is, Igor clued me into this little gulag. Turns out Dr. Master had it built with no way in or out. Well, in the conventional sense. The only entrance or egress is through a transport beam. You beamed us in here? Yep. Like on start. No copyright violation, Sam. So, you used a teleport beam to break us down and then reassemble us in this room? Wow. For a hippie, you understand a great deal of technobabble. Not a hippie, Brian. Don't get jerk face started on how smart he is, dumb by state university genius. Oh, shut up, Sam. Not a very promising start, guys. Now, listen up. No one is getting out of that room until you work together on some sort of project. Fine. We'll do it. But tell me one thing first. Yes? Where's the bathroom? Look behind you. That's a toilet in the middle of the room. I'm not doing my business in front of Sam. Then I'd work fast if I were you. Great. Just great. I have to pee. Sam, while I agree with your idea of creating a marketable product, I don't think it should be called the reach around. Why not? It's perfect. It's a grabber thing that helps people reach around corners and into tight spaces to pick up stuff they drop or lose. Great product. Bad name. And remember, this is coming from me, Ponch, who thinks anything sexual is a good idea. Okay, I, I, I don't get that. Um, but how about we call it the handy jobber? <sighs> Tell you what. Why don't we shelve this one and move on to your other idea? The non-lethal self-defense thing? Yep. I like that it's good for home defense and that it can be made affordable. Wow. Ponch, I thought you wanted everyone to be armed with handguns. No, that's not me. Sure, I love me some guns, but I'm all for choice. And there are those in the world who'd rather not have a pistol in the house. So your idea is a good one, see? Nope. I'm saying that we should present this to Brian and show him how well we work together. Then he'll let us out of here. But I had one more product. No, Sam, we're not making anal Santa. Really? I love anal Santa. Please stop saying it. I mean, a life-size Santa Claus doll that pushes you to perfection? How is that not amazing? He's so motivating, he's anal. That's anal Santa. Brian, we have a self-defense product to show you. Ah, thanks for yelling, Ponch. I was napping. What is it you said? You built a self-abuse kit or something? I wish. Look at this. That's a bat. Not just any bat, Mr. and Mrs. Consumer, but a woeful bat. The non-lethal home defense product that keeps you safe and does it in style. It's a bat with fur on it. And ears. That makes it look like a wolf. L like, like my last name, get it? Oh, I get it. I just think it's stupid and stupid looking. For Sagan's sake, Brian. But I must admit it does have a certain charm. And you say that you think you can market it? Yes. Hmm... I'd hoped you two would work together and build something, but you exceeded my expectations and came up with an actual saleable product. Well done, men. Thanks. Can you let us out now? Absolutely. Bring the wolf bat thing. Oh, and there's also anal Santa. What's he babbling about? Don't listen to him. He's gone confinement, loony. Okay, guys, stand close together. Uh, but Ponch smells like sawdust and hot glue. That's what I'm saying. Just do it. Anytime you're ready, Brian. Beaming now. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. I hope there are no hard feelings. You understand I had to lock you up to save your friendship. You betcha, Brian. Of course, Brian. And you invented something fantastic, so in reality it was actually a good thing I did. Sure, Brian. Oh, and there's one aspect of the woeful bat we forgot to mention. Really? Yeah, it doesn't leave any marks when you use it. I don't under... Grab him, Sam! What? Got him! Let me go! Ah! Oh, holy pipes! Ah, stop hitting! Ah, I'm blacking up! Just help me! 
Good night, asshole. Oh, and how's that for teamwork? Hamburgers. Is he dead, Punch? Not with the new Wolfle Bat. Oh, he'll sleep like a baby and wake up without a bruiser scratch. Come on, Sam. I'm sorry I called you jerk face. I'm sorry you couldn't get into Bi State University. Go Binturongs! Go Binturongs indeed, Sam. Sideshow Lounge is produced by Hello Cowboy Productions. All rights reserved. He's so motivating, he's anal. That's anal Santa. Please stop saying it.